Hello guys, welcome back to NFT Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to add related products in Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start a tutorial. So the first thing we need to do here is we need to access our Shopify store. In this case, go ahead and go to Shopify.com, log in into our account and access your dashboard here. Now from here, we need to go to our settings. So go ahead and click on settings at the bottom left. And from here, go to the section that says apps and sales channel and click on the button that says Shopify app store. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to search an app that we could use for adding related products. In this case, you could go and just type in related products and from here, press on enter. Now from here, what you want to do is you need to choose the appropriate application that you want to use. But in this case, we'll be using the frequently bought together application, which is specifically built for Shopify. In this case, let's go and click on it. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on install. And from here, what we need to do is we just need to confirm that we want to install this app. Now, in this case, just confirm. So it might take a few seconds for it to load it up. Click on install here. And once the installation is complete, you should be able to see the app for frequently bought together or feather. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to adjust a few settings here. In this case, what we need to do is we need to start adding products or adding a bundling for our products. So in this case, they'll go to the product bundling section. And from here, what we need to do is we need to edit our bundle. As you can see, I already added two products or two related products for a product I have. Now in this case, maybe I wanna add a product for this one. So let's go ahead and click on edit bundle. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to click on add product. In this case, it's going to ask us to add a feather extension. So let's go ahead and click on install extension now. From here, let's go ahead and click on add to Chrome, click on add extension. Now, once you've done that, you should be able to go back here, click on add product again, and choose the upper product. So maybe I want to choose this product here, click on add, and from here, let's go ahead and click on the save at the top right of your screen. Now, once you've done that, you can go ahead and go back into product bundling. And from here, you just need to make sure that you enable the publish bundle option. In this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and go back to feather here. And from here, we need to start editing our team. In this case, go to the button that says go to Teams Editor. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to uh, basically uh, just a few things here. For example, at the left side here, what we need to do is we need to make sure that Feather is actually added. And as you can see, we already have the related product section here, but in this case, we don't have control much on it. So in this case, you could go and click on it. And from here, you could go ahead and reposition it in any way that you want. So maybe I want to say I want to uh, make it at the very bottom here. And in this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and or you could just click on hide if you really want to hide a specific uh, section here. In this case, once you've done that, you could go ahead and click on save at the top right. And once you save that, you should be able to see at the bottom of this product here, the section for the uh, this one for the frequently bought together section. In this case, let's go ahead and go back into our store here and you could go to customization. But in this case, for if you really want to customize your um, feather or your look here, you could go ahead and make sure that it is actually a uh, feather bundle widget visible and make sure that show widget act section and product page, show widget model when clicking on add to cart. Now in this case, if you want to remove those, you could go ahead and click on it. But in this case, I would you, I would suggest you to keep this as is. And if you want to further customize this one, you need to be a loyalty member. In this case, once you've done that, we could go ahead and go back into our store here, access our store and see if the things or the settings that we did actually work. In this case, let's go to our catalog here. And under catalog, since we actually edited one of the cheek, uh, products here, so if I'm not mistaken, uh, the other product is going to be this one. Let's go and click on it. And it should showcase the chicken product that we recently added. Just scroll down a bit here. As you can see, we now have our frequently bought together. In this case, if you really want this product here, they could just make sure that they add a check next to it. And they could just click on add to cart if they really want to add this to their cart. In this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to NFT Inspo. Thank you for watching.